6,000 years from now when people were living in forests and mountains and very few civilizations existed, is it possible that at the same time Indians were researching on fertilization? The carvings we found in a 6,000 years old temple indicate the same. If you are curious to know that what are those carvings and how is the research possible without any microscope, then press that subscribe button and dive with me into this video. The images of fertilization you are looking at are from Varamurthi Swarar temple situated in Tamil Nadu state of India. Temple is claimed to be 6000 years old based on some legendary aspects. The archaeological proofs of the renovation of the temple dates back to 1080, so the temple definitely existed around 1000 years from now. Hence, the figures of fertilization are carved well before the discovery of the microscope. What is interesting are the two carvings. The first one shows a snake approaching moon. The moon is shown as a half moon superimposed on a full moon. This depiction of moon resembles the eclipsed moon. We can verify this with the analogy figure given next to it. It shows a snake approaching to eat a frog. So the picture is all about explaining what happens during eclipse. But snake and a story build up around it might have happened because of popular writings by famed poets who always used some analogy to explain things. Now when we see the second carving, initial take would indicate that second picture is also linked to eclipse and may be related to sun. But a closer look at the analogy figure reveals totally different thing. The analogy figure shows a fish with a bud in its mouth. The fish is trying to deposit the bud in what seems to be an inverted pot. The inverted pot symbolizes the womb. A bud being dropped into the mother's womb means soul entering the mother's womb and it actually means fertilization. The second picture clearly shows human fertilization of egg. So the small snake touching the disc is nothing but human egg fertilization. This kind of set of images are sculpted in many ancient temples of India. Various ancient temples have carvings of different stages of fetus growth in the mother's womb. Varamurthi Sura temple is just one of them. The progress of human embryo is also showcased in Kalabharvanath temple. If we study these images on various temples, we could touch even older dates proving the antiquity of this knowledge. In Vedic scriptures which are more than 5000 years old, it is clearly mentioned that the gender of the unborn child is dependent on the male aspect and not on Prakriti or female aspect. One of the ancient Upanishads, Garbha Upanishad, has precise detailed information on embryology, matching very closely with modern scientific embryology, excluding some details still unknown to modern science. When we visit to all these ancient sites, it amazes us that how these ancient people were able to discover these, that too without any advanced scientific equipment. Are we missing something? Have we lost a major part of our history? Let us know in the comments that what do you think about this. And if you want to know about the oldest secret society known as the 9 unknown men and how do they control the world, then check out this video. If you want to see more such videos, then press that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.